I don't believe I've recorded uh, this particular guitar on the internet uh, for the sake of showing anybody here. There's some photos. But it is basically uh, a mid-30s Epiphone Olympic inspired small bodied archtop guitar. The lower bout is 13 and 5 eighths of an inch, so it's quite narrow, and the, the waist is super narrow as you can see. And uh, it has a flat back though. The, the mid-30s Epiphones had a pressed laminated back. This is like solid back and sides, solid top, the top's all curved. Um, the next walnut, and and uh, yeah, I, it's, uh, it's a neat guitar. It's, uh, I, being a mandolin player, it's like having something that sort of responds similar to a mandolin, but does its uh, guitar duty well. Because um, it, it has, uh, has a lot of harmonics. play a solo on it I can like do the old uh, play, touching the chest and you play the solo and you because the backs are a really good sympathetic soundboard so it's kind of cool that way um, it's uh, it's a good guitar for playing acoustic variations of what you would typically play on a, on a telecaster so it's got a lot of brightness coming out of it and then uh, if you capo uh, let's just capo really high for fun if you want to have more of that mandolin sort of tonality so it's kind of neat if you want to do like Nashville tuning style stuff um Yeah, little ham tone arch top guitar reminiscent of something made in the 30s. And uh yeah, I make them at a pretty reasonable price this day and age. So uh Hamtone.com, Hamtone with two M's. Thank you. Have a great day.